Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to showcase No Such Localization Package to you. It is a very easy to use package to localize your game into different languages. Uh, here I'm looking at the light version which is free to use but it comes with limited features. It is a good starting point if you are a solo developer and don't want to spend money right off the bat. This is the option for you. You can use most of the basic features and get your game translated. And then if you need more advanced features, you can switch to the Pro version, which has more features, like uh, support for right-to-left languages, variable substitution, JSON and CSV files, and more. So in this video, we are going to add this uh, asset to an empty project and uh, look at the demo scenes that are included in the asset. Let's get started. So I'm going to launch Unity and create an empty project. I'm gonna press a new, leave that on 3D, name the project localization test and press create. Now that we are inside Unity, I'm going to launch the Asset Store window. Search for no such, no such localization. And I have already purchased this asset and downloaded it. Uh, for you, you might have to purchase and download first. After that, you can press this import button to include that asset in our project. And because I'm going to show you all the demos that are included in the asset, I'm going to import everything. All right, now that the asset is imported, I'm going to close this tab. And the asset is downloaded under no such localization folder under examples scenes, you can see all the demo scenes that are included in the asset. To use these demo scenes at runtime, I will need to include them in my build settings. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to select all the scenes, drag and drop them into my build settings window, and that's it. So each scene has a different feature that it signifies. Uh, and this first scene is a scene selection. Uh, menu so you can move between this and other and other scenes uh, at runtime before I can run my scene uh, I need to include text mesh pro in the project so let's go ahead and do that and as you can see after my, I imported that the text messages started showing in my scene and let's continue by running the first scene Let me scale so that uh, this takes up most of the screen. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to go into each scene and explore what that scene has to offer. The first scene contains two buttons that can change the language and the text boxes in the scene change depending on the language. In the next video, I'm going to create this scene from scratch and that's a good starting point for you if you want to learn how to use this package. Going back to the scene selection menu, let's go to the second one. This scene is very similar to the basic one we saw just before. The only difference is that uh, we have some right to left languages in the scene, such as Farsi and Arabic. Selecting those, as you can see, the layout of the page changes from left to right to right to left. And when I select a left to right language, that changes back. The third scene shows you how you can localize an image, an audio source, or mirror, or mirror some components uh, depending on the language. 
So in English, Hi, I speak English. The audio source. Hi, I speak. Like Hi, this. I speak English. If I change the language to Chinese, as you can see, the image changed. The back button is still pointing to left. Hi, I say Chinese. Changing to Farsi, and the image changes. Salam, man Farsi subat mikaunam. Of the uh, back button is mirrored. Salam, man Farsi and subat mikaunam. The fourth scene shows you how no such localization can replace variables in your text for you. So this text box at the top is using two variables, the name of the player and the score they have got. And when the score changes or the name of the player changes, uh, the text box uh, reflects that immediately. And if we change the language, uh, as you can see, it works for that new language. The next two scenes show you how you can use a JSON or a CSV file to prepare your translations outside of Unity and then importing it at runtime. This concludes our tour of no such localization. I am a bilingual indie game developer and I wrote most of the code for this asset uh, as part of the games that I needed localized. And at some point I decided to pull together everything and make it a standalone asset. I hope you find it useful for localizing your games. If you have any questions about no such localization, feel free to contact me uh, on my Discord server. The link is down in the description. Thank you for watching. See you around.